Hi guys, it's Sandy and I wanted to share a little IGTV video over here on YouTube because I still had the footage and I was amazed at the amount of feedback I got. So let's go do this quick. On Instagram TV, I post little quickie videos and this one I thought I would post here because I also got enough feedback that people wanted to know what all the supplies were and I thought everybody knew what these things were. First we have the Misty which is good for stamping. You can re-stamp the same image in the same place and just use different inks on it. And For this one I used Distress Inks and I just kind of tapped it around the outside edge. I cleaned it off and added some different color of ink so I get two colors on it and voila you can take a brush and put some water on it and blend them you may need to rinse your brush a little bit so you end up putting clean water down and not mushing color around these are not watercolors they're distress oxides so they kind of make a little mud at times but if you're careful and just put some water down and let the color move on its own you can often keep a nice clean sort of a look and then i did the same thing with the heart these are both from the High Five stamp set, not a new one from Ellen Hudson. It's been around a while, but it is a really nice one, and hopefully you can do this with other simple stamps that you have as well. So I've stamped with two different reds, and then just took some water and a brush and painted those. I am using one of my fancy brushes, so please don't worry about that brush. It's like a $200 brush, so uh, yeah. It was just what I was doing real quick for a quickie card for Instagram. And then I wanted to add a little bit more detail onto the card, so I put a little shadow underneath the heart. So the heart is just waving hello. I debated putting arms on the heart, and then I decided that would be a doofy thing to do. So there you go. And then I took these new dies that are coming out March 8th, or if it's past March 8th when you're watching this, then they're already out. Nesting dies from Ellen Hudson. And then putting all of this onto some dimensional adhesive, sticking it on a card base. Then I've got a nice square. These dies make frames. So you can make little frames. You can do all kinds of really cool nesting things. They come in all different sorts of shapes. So yes, awesomeness makes me happy. And I just offset mine and used a little bit of the Gina K glue to stick them on. And then I used glossy accents. I did not know that people didn't know what glossy accents is. It's an adhesive or it also just makes things shiny. It takes a little while to dry, so I usually leave it out overnight, but usually within an hour or two, you can kind of maybe sort of touch it. But the longer you leave it, the less you'll make a fingerprint in it. Supplies are all listed in the doobly-doo record fast clean and simple card. I will see you again very soon. Have an awesome day. Talk to you later. Bye.